What is up guys, Nick here today, and welcome to a new video. This one is not going to be a pleasant one to make. I've been putting it off for over five weeks now or so. And um, a lot of you have been asking where the Road to Max videos have been. Uh, it's kind of a series I've been doing for well over a year now. It has been a year or so, 13 months. I started on December 2nd of 2013. It is now July, or <laughs> July, January 3rd, 2015. So... Uh, to explain that, this will be all in this video. I have explained it a few times in the French chat and also on a live stream as well. But I know that is not nearly a fraction of my viewers. Most of my viewers are all on YouTube and hardly anybody joins the French chat anymore. I'm always in there to chat, even if it's positive feedback, negative feedback, just to talk. I'm always in there. So feel free to join in. It is the Looney Mania French chat. But anyway, down to business. So... I was going on a duo next trip with a friend of mine, and um, he ended up dying on our trip, uh, on the last phase, and I apologize for the lag, I am rendering a different video as well, uh, during the time being, um, and so, he died, I decided to try to fil finish the kill, and I hadn't been the next for, I think, a month and a half at this time, so it was, it was a little rusty, to say the least, and I ended up dying as well, so, uh, business as usual when you would die at next you have to have your full ancient ceremonial set and also your frozen key now for the first time in my entire time nexing i forgot my gloves or just a single piece of my ancient ceremonial armor which prevents you from going through the door so i could not get back into the door and i died again so what is called the uh double grave so my first grave now goes away those items show up on the floor the ones that are not degradable and pretty much anybody can grab them so i ended up double graving which usually is not a problem except the gravestone glitch when you die it did not let me select what items i would like to keep i am allowed to keep three items and it glitched when i died i was not able to pick what items i wanted so my frozen key which is 100 percent necessary to get into the next room um fucking disappear because a glitch happened and there was nothing i could do about it i it, looking back there was literally not a damn thing i could do about it so i had to go around and get all of my key pieces back again and by the time i got all this back forged a key together and went back into the next room all of my items were lost including in that grave were my ascension bows full serenic my uh, Virtus Wand and Book, I lost my, <laughs> I had 99 Fletching Banked, and that was all in Broad Bolt, Tips, and Headless Arrows, so the total that I lost from that scenario alone was upwards of 350 mil, just, just right there, just gone, uh, so later on that night, I decided to go, um, Try to PVM with some friends, and I could not aff I could not afford my crossbows, my ascension crossbows, or my mage switch. So I made a decision that is probably going to be disliked by a lot of people, but it was a decision I made to hopefully benefit my account, make my money back, and to kind of spark the comeback where I can make all my money back. I sold the Astral Rune Collection, the 1,312,072 Astral Runes that were in my bank. I sold them to buy myself the full gear back to go bossing with the exact same setup I had prior to dying. And I had no leftover money from the first death. I have, as you can see, the cash stack. I had 903k exactly. And I had sold the Astral Runes for about 350 mil or so. I was able to, on top of, sell my other remaining PVMing stuff that I had. A lot of my supplies in my bank. I was able to muster up enough to buy the Ascension Bows back. And I was able to get my PVMing set up back. And I was very excited to do that. My first intent was to go make the money back to buy all the Astral Runes. And I will... And I guarantee this, I will buy them back at some point down the road. Now, that was not the end of the story. I went bossing later that night. I went to Calfight King with a couple friends I know in real life. 
and I got DDoSed for all of my stuff again. Not just a part of it, all of it. I The only thing my grave kept were my Cyrenic top, bottom, and legs. God knows why Ascension bows don't go at the top. Same with my Virtus Wand, Virtus Book. None of it kept. So, I have full Cyrenic. And I'll show you guys the bank now. Um, I did take care of changing my IP. Like, that's not a problem anymore. But it was just a fact of watching entire year worth of what I've worked for just gone in about five, six hours or so. All of it just gone. And I have not wanted to play RS3 since. I have not wanted to um, even log on RS3. And this is the first time I've logged on since I lost all of my stuff that night. So uh, my potions were a lot more stocked up than this. I had over 1k super stores and cerebrews, uh, 5k rock tails. I was literally stocked up to PVM forever, but I had to go and sell all of that just to try to muster up enough to go PVMing with. So I repaired my freaking Serenic. I died with the one that, like the set I had on, so I could get the money for it to hopefully buy back some of my other necessities. And so I died with it, got cash in return, or the Serenic scales in return, sold them for cash, and rebought a fresh set. Um, and now my only weapon I have now is the Royal Crossbow. So, um, yeah. So it's not been a pleasant few or a month or so on this account. I have not been on it at all, and I have pretty much zero, <laughs> zero motivation for RS3. And I'm sure you guys could tell as the videos, the most recent videos for the Road to Max have been um, not as much done, not as much enthusiasm. It's because I have lost a lot of, I don't know, I just have not had the spark to keep playing RS3. After playing it every day for the last year, it's almost like, it feels like a cheesy game. I mean, I really like the game, I really love RS but I feel no accomplishment for getting 99s in all honesty. I would get my 99s and be like, alright, well, on to the next one. And that's not what I want to play for. That's not what I want to make videos for. I want to feel accomplished when I finish something. Not that I slaved away hours and hours just to say on to the next one. I want to get it and be like, wow, that's pretty cool that I got that. But I have not felt that since I got 99 Slayer on this account. 99 Slayer was probably the most fun. I had on this account and besides the beginning of for like forming this series now this is not the end of the series I will be finishing one day that doesn't mean it'll be this month it won't be next month I don't know when it'll be but I personally feel that I deserve to enjoy this game if I'm gonna play it and if I'm honest this if I did not go to 07 and start making videos on there make a new account on there and Start a road to max combat series on there. I wouldn't be playing RS at all I wouldn't be uploading anything on YouTube and that would kind of be the end of it there, but I Really have felt so motivated to play 07 and to feel that sense of Accomplishment when you do something when you get something and you work hard for it just the same as you do for good grades when you work hard for and you study your ass off and you sacrifice a lot of your free time to getting good grades and you get it like damn that was a semester well worth it and it pays off down the road so it's kind of a somewhat of a situation kind of like that I feel if I'm putting in a lot of my time to make videos to play a game and while I balance school and stuff like that I want to enjoy it and I want to have fun with it. Video making has been such a passion of mine for the last, God, two, three years of mine. and Or even four, maybe. I, God, I guess it's been about four. And I really don't want to give that up just because I've died in a game and lost all of my stuff. Even though it has been stuff that I could not control. But I can't just leave this YouTube channel behind and be like, well, fuck it. I've worked really hard to get to where I am today, and I, des I feel like I really just deserve to enjoy the game, and I know a lot of you are going to be pissed at the decision I made to sell the Astral Runes, to try to rekindle my bank so I could make that 
300 mil in a couple days and to buy all of them back but I did not foresee getting DDoS by people I've hung out with in real life on multiple occasions and that I've been friends with for a few years and that being said I do apologize for making that decision and not envisioning that it would be a possibility of that happening um but yeah I don't expect very good remarks from this video I'm not gonna block you guys from commenting I'm not gonna disable the like and dislikes I know it's not gonna be a pleasant video uh, just in general but I felt like I finally need to make it and get it over with um I have not been looking forward to doing this video um but yeah so if you guys still enjoy my content and watch the 07 content which I know you probably didn't subscribe for if you were watching the road to max video um if you are enjoying it thank you very much for watching it I know it's not what I usually make I've been solely playing RS3 for the last year plus and just to hop into 07 and it's different territory I guess I know there are different sides to it but uh, RS3 is really just put me off of playing RS it really just has and so I don't have too much else to comment I don't want to make this a full-on debate about RS3 or 07 but I have felt so much accomplishment playing 07 grinding and doing stuff I've never done before on that platform of the game um, and if you guys don't want to see any more content from me just due to the fact of the, the decision blah, blah, the decisions that I've made then I fully respect that but um, for those of you who have given me a chance as an 07 video maker, I really do appreciate it. Um, I mean, I basically conduct the episodes the exact same as these Road to Max videos. They're identical pretty much, and it's, I think, just as enjoyable to watch. I actually find it more enjoyable to watch those 07 videos. I'm able to live commentate individual clips instead of in the past where they haven't been. That was kind of weird. Um, where it's a fully talked over video, more structured in the live commentary clips I'm able to kind of expand not really creativity but you're able to see um, a little more variety and I find it a lot more enjoyable and funnier to watch but if you guys have no intentions of watching them don't let me persuade you into them I don't intend to but any <clears throat> anyway god that was a lot of talking um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I don't know why you would but I plan on grinding out 07 I don't really plan on logging on to this account. Uh, I will make a comeback on this account one day, but I feel I need a break from RS3. I feel like that should be respected. I know people probably won't and don't want to hear it, but I may return with a from scratch with all of these stats. Not totally from scratch, of course. I will have um, untradeables, and maybe we can work out a series with that down the road. I do also have 75 tecton tectonic energy as well. It's like 10 mil, I think, or something like that. But, um, yeah, so if you have any comments regarding anything, I will be reading every comment. I read every comment in general. So, I know what to expect. I don't have any uh, other um, expectations. But I will promise that I will buy the total of Astral Runes. I already stated I deleted the note off my phone already. Because I know I'd rewatch it back on this video. That I will buy the Astro Runes back at some point down the road. And I will do a giant giveaway with them when we finish this Max Cape. Um, it was kind of a poor decision for me to make. I don't think I need to go into any more detail with it. Of course, the comment section is yours. I will respond if I feel the need to. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please have a like, favorite, subscribe. And if you're new. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Peace out.